Welcome those who are passionate about the art of storytelling and the pursuit of truth. Today, we embark on an exciting journey into the captivating world of Pam Greer, a living legend whose life epitomizes resilience, talent and unparalleled charisma. With iconic roles that challenge stereotypes and celebrate the power of women, Pam Greer has become a symbol of strength and resilience. Her performances not only entertain but also inspire generations of fans across the globe. But Pam's influence goes far beyond the silver screen. Nestled within the serene beauty of the villa, she has created a haven of comfort and sophistication. From the grandeur of her living spaces to the tranquil oasis of her garden, every nook and cranny reflects her impeccable style and grace. In today's video we dive into the net worth and lifestyle of a Hollywood legend. Pam Greer's impact on American cinema and culture transcends her roles on screen. With a net worth of $5 million as of April 2024, Greer's journey in the entertainment industry has been nothing short of remarkable. Rising to prominence in the early 1970s, she starred in a series of influential films that left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Initially gaining attention for her roles in moderately successful women's films and exploitation flicks such as The Big Bird Cage, Coffee, Foxy Brown, and Sheba Baby, Greer's talent and charisma quickly set her apart. However, it was her triumphant return to the silver screen in Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown, 1997, that truly solidified her status as a cinematic icon. Her portrayal of the titular character earned her a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress, further cementing her place in cinematic history. Beyond her filmography, Greer's impact extends into television, where she captivated audiences as Kate, Kit, Porter in the acclaimed series, The L Word, for six seasons. Tarantino himself has lauded Greer as a potential pioneer for female action stars, recognizing her groundbreaking contributions to the industry. In recognition of her cultural contributions and lasting influence, Pam Greer was honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2024 Toronto Black Film Festival, a testament to her enduring legacy. Additionally, Quentin Tarantino paid tribute to Greer's iconic status by opening a Los Feliz Café named after the character she famously portrayed in Coffee. 1973, a heartfelt gesture that underscores her impact on American pop culture. Pam Greers, born on May 26, 1949, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, she was raised in a household brimming with cultural richness. Her parents, Gwendolyn Sylvia and Clarence Ransom Greer Jr., provided her with a nurturing environment despite the challenges of her father's military career. Greer's heritage is a colorful tapestry, boasting Black, Hispanic, Chinese, Italian, Filipino, and Cheyenne ancestry, a testament to the melting pot of America. The Greer family's nomadic lifestyle, dictated by her father's military service, led them on a journey across continents. In 1956, they found themselves in Swindon, southwest England, where Clarence worked on an Air Force base. Despite being one of the few black families in town, Greer recalls experiencing less discrimination compared to the United States. She vividly remembers how in the UK, racial prejudice was directed towards Germans, not blacks. However, the stark realities of segregation and racism awaited them upon their return to America in 1958, settling in Denver, Colorado. Pam Greer's childhood was marked by resilience and adaptability. Spending time on her maternal grandparents' farm in rural Wyoming offered her glimpses into her family's history. Tracing back to ancestors who sought freedom via the Underground Railroad, Despite the challenges, Greer thrived academically and artistically. She attended East High School in Denver, where she honed her acting skills through theater productions and participated in beauty pageants to fund her college education at Metropolitan State College. In 1967, she made her move to the City of Angels, initially finding employment at American International Pictures AIP, manning the switchboard. It was here that fate intervened, as acclaimed director Jack Hill discovered her potential leading to her breakout roles in Roger Corman's gritty films centered around women in prison. Greer's captivating presence and undeniable talent quickly made her a fixture in the burgeoning blaxploitation genre of the early 1970s. Her portrayal of bold, assertive characters, notably in Jack Hill's Coffee, 1973, cemented her status as a trailblazer. In Coffee, she commanded the screen as a nurse seeking vengeance against drug dealers. Earning accolades for her compelling performance, critic Roger Ebert lauded Greer's portrayal, 
highlighting her remarkable blend of beauty and substance, a rarity in Hollywood at the time. With Coffee setting the stage for her groundbreaking career, Greer emerged as the first African-American woman to lead the charge in action films, shattering stereotypes and paving the way for future generations of women in the industry. Her impact transcended cinema as she ventured into television, portraying diverse roles such as Steven Seagal's detective partner in Above the Law, 1988, and recurring appearances in popular shows like Miami Vice, Martin, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Greer's versatility and magnetic presence made her a sought-after talent, with her recurring role in the television series, Crime Story, further solidifying her place in entertainment history. In the late 1990s, she graced both the big and small screens, showcasing her versatility and talent. Greer's portrayal of the title character in Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown, 1997, earned her widespread acclaim garnering nominations for numerous awards and solidifying her status as a cinematic icon. Additionally, she captivated audiences as Kit Porter in the Showtime series, The L Word, a role she portrayed for six seasons until the show concluded in 2009. Stepping into the realm of science fiction, Greer mesmerized viewers as the formidable villain Amanda Waller, also known as the White Queen. In the hit series, Smallville, 2010, her ability to inhabit diverse characters with depth and charisma further cemented her reputation as a versatile actress. Beyond her contributions to the entertainment industry, Pam Greer's impact extends into philanthropy and community activism. She is the driving force behind the Pam Greer Community Garden and Education Center, a partnership with the National Museum of Multicultural Western Heritage. Through this initiative, Greer aims to educate individuals about organic gardening, health, and nutrition empowering communities with knowledge and resources. In recognition of her influential career and humanitarian efforts, Greer received honorary doctorates from the University of Maryland Eastern Shore and Langston University in 2011. Her groundbreaking portrayal of empowered female characters has earned her accolades and admiration, with Essence magazine hailing her as a revolutionary figure whose characters inspire audiences to cheer from the edge of their seats. Looking ahead, Greer's remarkable journey continues to unfold. In January 2018, she revealed plans for a biographical film based on her memoir, aptly titled, Pam. Additionally, in April 2022, Turner Classic Movies, TCM, announced a fourth season of their podcast, The Plot Thickens, dedicated to exploring Greer's life and career, further cementing her legacy as a trailblazer in the world of cinema. With all of this success, it's no surprise that we would feature her ultra-luxurious homes mansion in franktown colorado pam greer's residence in franktown colorado paints a picture of rustic elegance in one of the state's most picturesque towns nestled amidst the tranquil landscapes of colorado franktown is renowned for its scenic beauty and serene atmosphere making it an ideal choice for those seeking a peaceful and family-friendly lifestyle the house itself is a spacious abode boasting five bedrooms and three bathrooms spread across more than 4,200 square feet of living space. Built in 1990, this single-family home sits on a sprawling four-acre lot, offering ample room for privacy and outdoor activities. With two covered parking spaces, convenience is ensured for homeowners and guests alike. Stepping inside, residents are greeted by a host of modern amenities designed for comfort and style. Double glazed windows and vaulted ceilings add to the ambiance, while a walk-in closet provides ample storage space. The kitchen is a focal point of the home, featuring top-quality appliances and stylish finishes that cater to the discerning homeowner. Special workout equipment further enhances the living experience, promoting health and wellness within the comfort of home. Outside, the charm continues with a lovely yard that serves as the perfect backdrop for outdoor enjoyment and relaxation. The exterior of the house, adorned with brick accents, seamlessly blends rustic charm with modern design elements, creating a visually appealing aesthetic. In April 2020, Pam Greer listed the property for sale with an asking price of $1 million. Reflecting the desirability of the location and the quality of the home. Eventually, in October 2020, the property was sold for $940,000. Overall, Pam Greer's former residence in Franktown embodies the epitome of country living, offering a harmonious blend of comfort, style, and natural beauty. Whether enjoying the tranquility of the surroundings or entertaining friends and family in the spacious interior, 
this charming farmhouse truly captures the essence of Colorado living. Mansion in Winston-Salem, North Carolina Pam Greer's current residence in Lockhurst exudes luxury and comfort, offering a glimpse into refined living in a beautiful corner of the world. This custom-built home boasts five bedrooms, four full bathrooms, and two half-bathrooms, ensuring ample space for both relaxation and entertainment. Situated on a corner lot, the home's design maximizes natural light, creating a bright and inviting atmosphere throughout. The master suite is a haven of relaxation, featuring a walk-in shower and updated granite countertops, adding a touch of elegance to everyday living. The heart of the home lies in the kitchen, where granite countertops and tiled floors meet a spacious kitchen dining area illuminated by skylights. Adjacent to the kitchen, the laundry room offers convenience and functionality for busy households. Stepping into the dining room, guests are greeted by views of the spacious open entry, with sight lines extending to the great room adorned with a cozy fireplace and high ceilings. Upstairs, four additional bedrooms and a full bathroom, complete with a Jack and Jill bathtub, provide ample space for family and guests. The backyard is a sanctuary for outdoor living, featuring a custom-built patio with a fireplace, perfect for gatherings and relaxation. A screened-in porch and lower level extend the entertainment options, offering versatile spaces for all seasons. The basement adds to the home's appeal with a bonus, rec room and a second washer, dryer hookup, adding convenience to everyday living. Additionally, an office space doubles as an additional bedroom, complete with a full bath and closet just outside the bedroom, ensuring flexibility to meet the needs of modern living. From the meticulously designed interiors to the inviting outdoor spaces, this home is a true sanctuary in which to create lasting memories and enjoy the finer things in life. Philanthropy Pam Greer's dedication to social causes extends far beyond the silver screen, as evidenced by her involvement with the Fabienne Colas Foundation, FCF. Canada's largest black cultural organization. Established in 2005 as a nonprofit arts organization, FCF champions diversity and inclusion in film, arts, and culture both in Canada and internationally. One of its notable achievements is producing Zaza, a film that celebrates black culture and heritage. Additionally, FCF is the driving force behind the Festwave Institute and 12 festivals, including the highly successful Montreal Black Film Festival and the widely popular Toronto Black Film Festival. These festivals serve as platforms for showcasing and supporting the work of over 5,000 artists, attracting an impressive 2 million festival goers. FCF's impactful initiatives extend beyond Canada's borders, with successful festivals held in the USA, Haiti, and Brazil. Furthermore, FCF is the visionary behind the Being Black in Canada program, the country's largest incubator dedicated to black filmmakers. This program offers essential support and resources to aspiring black filmmakers, empowering them to share their stories and contribute to Canada's rich cultural tapestry. In addition to her involvement with FCF, Pam Greer lends her support to vital causes such as AIDS Houston. Held on December 1 at the Post Oak Hilton Hotel, this event aims to raise awareness and funds to combat HIV, AIDS, with tickets priced at $150 each. Co-hosted by local PBS personality Ernie Manaus and Bill Baldwin of Boulevard Realty, the event echoes the collective goal of achieving zero new infections, zero AIDS-related deaths, and zero stigma. Moreover, Greer participated in the 27th Annual Dining Out for Life program organized by Subaru in April 2017. This fundraising initiative, expected to raise over $4 million for essential HIV, AIDS services, saw more than 3,000 restaurants across 62 cities in North America donate a significant portion of their proceeds to local HIV, AIDS service organizations. Subaru's steadfast commitment to the Dining Out for Life program, with nearly $40 million donated to date, underscores its dedication to supporting causes that matter most to its drivers. Alan Bethke, Senior Vice President of Marketing at Subaru of America Inc., emphasized the company's commitment to joining the fight against the HIV, AIDS epidemic, which affects communities worldwide. Through her philanthropic endeavors, Pam Greer continues to make a meaningful impact, leveraging her platform to support marginalized communities and advocate for positive social change. Her dedication to uplifting others serves as an inspiration, inspiring others to join the fight for a more inclusive and compassionate world. Personal Life Pam Greer's personal life has been marked by a series of relationships and challenges, 
offering glimpses into the complexities of fame and love. In 1969, she crossed paths with basketball player Ferdinand Louis Alcindor, who later adopted the name Kareem Abdul-Jabbar upon converting to Islam. Their relationship took a dramatic turn when Abdul-Jabbar proposed marriage on the condition that Greer embrace Islam. A request she declined. On that same day, Abdul-Jabbar wed another woman, marking the end of their relationship. Another significant chapter unfolded when Greer met comedian Freddie Prinze in 1973 while promoting her film, Coffee. Their relationship blossomed, and marriage was considered, but Greer harbored reservations due to Prinz's history of depression and drug addiction. Despite their breakup, they remained in touch, and Greer was one of the last individuals Prinz spoke to before his tragic passing in 1977. Greer's connection with comedian Richard Pryor began through her association with Prinz. Their romance deepened after both starred in the film, Greased Lightning, in 1977. Greer played a pivotal role in Pryor's battle against drug addiction, even as their relationship faced challenges. In her memoir, Greer candidly recounts the impact of her intimacy with Pryor, which led to cocaine entering her system. Despite her efforts to prioritize her health, Pryor's refusal to use protection strained their relationship. Pryor ultimately married Deborah McGuire while still involved with Greer. Throughout her life, Greer has been linked romantically with notable figures such as boxing promoter Jimmy, Big Wheel, Wheeler, Soul Train, host Don Cornelius, and basketball legend Wilt Chamberlain. In 1998, she became engaged to RCA Records executive Kevin Evans, though their engagement ended the following year. Amidst personal trials, Greer faced a health scare in 1988 when she was diagnosed with stage 4 cervical cancer. Initially given a bleak prognosis, she defied the odds through intensive treatment and has since been in remission, a testament to her resilience and strength. Despite the challenges she has faced, she remains a symbol of strength and resilience, inspiring others with her journey of triumph over adversity. While rumors persist about her relationship with actor and Protestant pastor Rosie Greer, Greer has denied any familial connection, preserving the boundaries of her private life amidst public scrutiny. In a world filled with stars, Pam Greer shines brightest. Her unparalleled talent, show-stopping spirit, and enduring charm have earned her a place in film history and the hearts of millions. Please leave your comments in the section below. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.